Okay, what we have today is a 1998 Toyota Tacoma. It's a four-cylinder, four-wheel drive. It's got a 2.7 liter engine in it. And we're going to be changing the spark plug, spark plugs, and also the spark plug wires. Uh, I took it into O'Reilly's and they run their test on it for free. And uh, they said that cylinder number two is misfiring. So hopefully we'll change the spark plug wires and the plugs and it will Okay, one of the tools that we'll need is a 5 8 inch uh, spark plug socket with a long extension. I have three little short extensions duct taped together. Uh, the reason they're duct taped together for is so whenever you uh, pull the spark plug um, out after you screw it out, the extensions will fall apart and you'll have your spark plug and some of your socket and your extensions down and then you won't be able to get them out. So I just duct taped it, very simple solution. And uh, then also whenever you go to put the new one back in, See this socket, uh, spark plug socket, has a little rubber uh, thing in there so it holds the spark plug in whenever you put it back in too. Well, it kind of pulls off hard so you have to have everything taped together or somehow held together uh, so you don't pull your socket off whenever it's The next in. thing, what you want to do is take off, you have to remember this, um, take off your uh, negative battery, battery uh, post so you don't uh, short anything out. And also, whenever we start this job, I already took the first one out, as you can see. Come over here a little bit further. Um, I took the first one out. You want to start with one, take it out, and put the new one back in. And then go to the next one and do the same thing. So you don't get the wires crossed. Um, it will cause a big mess. So we will get started. I'll, I got the first one out. Um, I wanted to make sure I could get it out and stuff real easy. I'll go ahead and put, put that back in for you and um, we'll move on. We're going to be there. putting the first spark plug in, so insert it in your socket and put it down there in the first hole. I'm going to stuck it down pretty good. And there we go. Now I will hook up the hook up the you have to make sure these cables come in different lengths. So make sure you get the right cable um, over here. See this in here is a little too long. So you have to make sure you have to find the right cable. This is the shortest cable and the our shortest wire. Spark plug wire. Right here, I think it is. Yeah, this is the right one. You gotta make sure it's the right one or they won't reach. Next thing you wanna do is plug this thing down in here. Go underneath this wire. Make sure you seat it down in there real good. And then the other end of the connector, spark plug wire, goes down and to the top of this little box down here. I don't know if that'll help you see or not. Plugs right in there, and this little snap cover just snaps right on there just like that. And it's as easy as that. And that's the first one, and we'll do the next three, and hopefully this will help you guys out. The reason out. why we've done this today, we're all done now. We took it out for a test drive, and everything works fine. The reason why we've done this today is it had a really bad shimmy. If, if, if the engine was like shaking, it was missing, and you could tell that something wasn't quite right, and so I thought it was figured probably the spark plugs or the wires or something. So we changed everything here, and I'll have my dad start it up for you, and we'll see if the engine runs really smooth. 